that perseverance is really well named. Um, it, it takes a lot of perseverance to stay in science. Science is hard. And, um, and that's why it's so great that the space mission can, um, uh, you know, the, the, um, uh, the space program can encourage students to stick with it because we we need these students to um, to to stay in science and and engineering to help you know solve the the problem the problem in the future. So I encourage students to per persevere. Science science is hard. It's hard for everybody. And so if if the, a student is feeling like it's hard for them, it's it's um uh. uh it, it, it's hard for everybody. So, so don't be discouraged, persevere in science and, um, and help solve the, the, the problems um, and, um, and work on the exciting, you know, interesting problems of tomorrow. Um, yes, well, I'm a professor of geoscience um, at UNLV and I study uh, water rock interactions. And so what happens when minerals and liquid water uh, interact and um, we use a variety of uh, laboratory experiments, modeling, and um, field experiments to understand that. And we're particularly interested in what those results can tell us about both Earth and Mars. And we also look at the impact of microorganisms on those types of reactions. Students have an opportunity, UNLV students have an opportunity to participate in the missions. And when the samples come back, they'll be available to people who are students now to work on. And I would say the, the biggest benefit um, from the space program is that it uh, uh, inspires students um, to, to go into science. Um, I think that the, the excitement of the space program can help, you know, students stay engaged in science. And even if not all of them, you know, become planetary scientists, maybe they become engineers and maybe they become doctors and, or maybe they go into biomedicine and they help to, uh, to work on, um, you know, solving problems, um, you know, problems in our society. And so, yes, the, the space program has a lot of benefits to, um, to us here on Earth.